a law enforcement training conference that teaches cops nationwide and takes in our tax dollars is now under fire. Comptroller Kevin Walsh said that the training violated numerous state laws and policies. His report stated that the training was offered, advocated unconstitutional policing tactics, praises violence, and slandered women and minorities. Instructors taught unconstitutional policing practices, teaching officers to stop motorists without a lawful basis and to illegally prolong traffic stops. In the report, it alleges that over 100 discriminatory and harassing comments were made by the speakers who were displaying vulgar images, speaking about the size of their genitals, and were making comments that degraded women and minorities. The South, it's the wild, wild, west, south, wherever. If you don't believe me, run from Georgia State Patrol. Y'all know what I'm talking about, okay? Run from me. Somewhere along the chase becomes <laughs> neither confirm or deny there's some videos out there with me doing just that. Dennis Beningo, who owns the training company, spoke about wanting to die in Colombia surrounded by cocaine and women who are quote unquote not as wealthy and need to do things to make money, end quote. One speaker talked about, quote unquote, loving violence. I love what the fuck I do for a living. There's nothing else I'm good at. Uh, I love violence, I love fighting, I love shooting, and I fucking love freedom. It wasn't that long ago that we were drinking out of the schools of our enemies. Like Another used a meme of a monkey to describe the traffic stop of a 75-year-old black man. There is a huge concern about the credibility of those who have participated in this training. There's already been a drug charge case dismissed since this report was released. That means there are more cases that must be looked into, especially those that have resulted in jail and prison time. We have received several submissions from those inside street cop training that shows how police are being trained nationwide with our tax dollars to be more violent, more sexist, and more racist. In this slide that was taken inside their training, says proactive cops and citizen complaints more complaints question mark that means you're doing your job 90 percent of officers with 10 plus complaints have more medals and gun arrests it says african american complaints hold less weight as they are known to be criminals this is disgusting it is encouraging officers to have more complaints this slide mentioned proactive patrol tactics it says blacks make up 13 percent of the population yet commit 50 percent of crime in the usa as an active patrol cop, 95% of violent criminals carrying a loaded firearm were black or Hispanic, and it is important to target those demographics as it will yield to more quality arrests. This is racist police practices that are being trained nationwide with our tax dollars. Street cop training must go.